she goes ham. The front of my face is so red. I'm in Spain without the S right now. Hey babes, it's Bumpy and welcome back to my YouTube Chanel. So you're probably looking at me. The girl's chilling in a robe hasn't gotten on her makeup like is she just waking up is she going to sleep what is going on here so we're going to try something a little bit different today today's video i'm going to be trying out madison beer's viral vogue makeup routine over on vogue's youtube channel they do this series where celebrities come on and they're like in their bathroom and they go through their everyday makeup tutorial so madison beer did one about a month ago and it went viral first of all obviously the girl's gorgeous i'm convinced she could put on clown makeup and she would still look incredible but there are some techniques and stuff that she does in the video that are like a bit questionable kind of different and a lot of people have been trying them out commenting on them i haven't seen any black woman try out the techniques and i want to know if it's going to work for me so i'm going to be the guinea pig for all of you guys i'm going to try out the techniques give a few tips for things that i know will not work for me and yeah if you see this then it probably comes out well if you see this and it came out badly then you're welcome i'm saving you some despair but either way let's get into the video so on the vogue video it starts off with madison doing her like skincare routine my skin is all prepped and stuff i put on all my moisturizers and then she goes on to do her brows right right out the gates i cannot i treat I, i'm not even gonna try it madison's brow technique is soap brows which is basically where you take like a bar of soap or these days they make products for it you take a spoolie and you like brush the soap or the wax material through your brows and then it gives like a like a gorgeous fluffy brow effect that technique right there is for the gal them with brow hairs now you probably haven't seen but i am not that blessed in the brow department i was not going to come up here and embarrass myself by trying that so i have done my brows off camera already i tried to go for a fluffy ish brow to kind of go with the look so brow if it works for you God has favorites, quite frankly. So let's just move on to the next step. Okay, so now that we've skipped through soap brows and skincare, obviously, the first thing she does is obviously her base, which she doesn't use foundation. And she uses what she says is a skin tint, which I'm assuming is similar to like a BB cream kind of formula, which is super light coverage and kind of just evens everything out to give you that. You know that i'm not wearing makeup that that kind of glow i from personal experience know how impossible it is to get a bb cream or skin tint that suits your skin tone well when you're a dark skinned gal oh i'm a poet and i don't even know it so what i've learned works really really well to kind of dupe a skin tint also it's a lot cheaper is taking your foundation and mixing it with a lotion well a face cream right something that's fragrance free and obviously like squeezable because that doesn't change the color of your foundation it only lightens the coverage so the foundation that i use is the l'oreal infallible in the shade espresso i love this foundation i live for this foundation and then the lotion that i mix into my foundation is the epimax face and body cream it comes in like a really big bottle and it's like 80 bucks maybe and you can use it for everything so to get like a bb cream consistency i recommend you mix together like one part foundation one part of this face lotion whatever you end up using just to thin it out and then you get something like this it literally looks like foundation save your money honey you're welcome and then she applies it the thing that she's using is dropped i have my mirror here by the way so please don't think i'm looking into nothing <laughs> the skin tint that she's using is drops so she kind of just drops it onto her face um i've just mixed this with this brush so i'm just gonna put it on with this brush and then the next thing she does is she blends her makeup out with a makeup sponge i usually use my hands or like a brush for more coverage this foundation is drying on my face um but yeah we're gonna use a sponge asmr guys my beauty blender is so clean just look look at how beautiful that is i'm not okay with doing this oh my god that is doing nothing for my dark spots absolutely nothing you know, I actually, I feel like this would work better if I put on the BB cream with my hands. This feels wrong. But it's supposed to just even out your skin. So I guess, I guess that's what we're going for. Me 
trying to finish this like light coverage base to cover my acne scars on my cheek by piling it on <laughs> guys the thing is if you know me then you know that i am a full coverage queen like i am a all glam or nothing if i'm not wearing all glam then i'm just like i'm not wearing makeup in general so this is weird but i must say it's not even the light coverage base that's throwing me here putting on my makeup with a make with a makeup sponge is fucking weird like <laughs> it's odd so it definitely evens out your skin tone and you know what it's not it's not a bad look it's kind of it's kind of cute so the next thing she does is her concealer right now the problem i have with the way that she does her concealer right now is obviously because she's put on like a very light coverage base product she goes ham on the concealer and i feel like when you put on too much concealer especially if when i put on way too much concealer i look crazy so i'm torn <laughs> on whether i'm going to follow the routine properly and actually use the amount of concealer that she uses or if i'm just gonna use like a moderate amount of concealer um the concealer that she uses is the nars radiant creamy concealer which like a bunch of beauty gurus and whatnot adore first of all nars isn't in south africa and i'm not willing to pay to get it shipped here if i'm not using the product that she's using please mind your business i don't have madison beer's bank account so the concealer that i'm going to be using is the l'oreal infallible concealer <laughs> um, i'm going to use the concealer and put it on kind of how she puts it on she puts it on basically under her eyes obviously chin nose and on her forehead she doesn't carve out her brows which is another thing that I usually do that I'm upset that I'm not going to be doing today. Guys, I'm scared. I'm gonna put on concealer the way she does and let's keep it moving. I need my mirror close. So she takes her concealer under her eyes, obviously. And she kind of like, her whole thing, oh, sorry, I was covering half my face there. The whole thing with Madison Beer is that she has like that, like that lifted, really lifted face. So when she's putting on her concealer, she puts it on in a very like upward lifted motion under the eyes and then like swooping it up and then she low-key snatches her nose on the sides as well so Ooh. on her chin now when i'm putting on concealer usually i also do above my lip and on the sides of my mouth but we're not gonna do that today so let's do the nose on the tip and then looking kind of nice and then on her forehead Sunshine. and then I ran it down joined into your nose highlight just because it makes sense and I think that's it another thing that she doesn't do that I usually do is I cut my like I put concealer where I would cut my contour later on as well so yeah we're just going with the flow and then she blends it obviously not me breaking things and then she blends it with her beauty blender i would use a combination of my hands i really like blending makeup with my hands so i usually blend this out with my hands and then this mac concealer brush for like hard to reach areas but we're gonna use a beauty blender today because madison beauty is a beauty blender this feels wrong do you know what? if i'm being honest i feel like I feel like I was being shy with the amount that I put on compared to the amount that she puts on. She puts on, like guys, she puts on so much concealer. So let me, let me be true to the video. Okay. Just, just a young second layer. Oh, this is gonna, I feel like this is gonna ruin it. Okay, but let's just blend. That forehead part is looking funny. My forehead looks weird, guys. Like, I even usually don't put that much concealer on my forehead, particularly. When you're blending your concealer, it's smarter to like, oh, I also usually let my concealer dry before I blend it out because it gives you more coverage. So the way she just goes in, blends it all together. I'm in Spain without the S right now. So yeah, let's just... you guys hear that someone's trying to rub me i also feel like putting on this much concealer this karma stop 
I also feel like putting on this much concealer kind of takes away from the fact that you didn't put on like a really full coverage foundation so it's fine it all works out in the end if after this video I become like a, a natural face queen well I might have to rebrand my whole life you see the concealer's a lot hey your mom's concealer she uses this gang blending it in with a sponge literally makes it go everywhere so like Anyways, okay, and after she's blended out all of her concealer, she goes in with a cream contour. The one that she uses is Charlotte Tilsbury. Life hack for this, you can literally just get a concealer that's darker and use that as a cream contour. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. For my concealer, for concealing, like highlighting, I use the shade Coco, and then for contour now, I'm gonna use the shade Espresso. Don't waste your money on cream contour, just buy a darker concealer or even foundation. It all does the same thing. So she goes and she only puts this on the sides of your cheeks, which is here and here, and then on like the sides of her forehead. Okay. And then we blend. Again, remember, we are lifting here. So when you're blending this in, you must blend in upward motions. Uh, I don't feel like that did much, which is why I don't do cream contour. But low-key, this is actually going really quickly. Like, I think this is going a lot faster than I would normally do my makeup. It does feel weird that I haven't set my concealer yet. I think that's what's throwing me off. I feel so unsettled. <laughs> yeah, that's that's weird. I feel like, like it's creasing. My concealer is creasing around, like my smile lines here. And that's because I haven't set them. Oh, stress. Okay, we're done blending out the cream contour. In the routine, she uses a lot of cream products, which is what a lot of people do when they want like a natural glowy look to their makeup. It stresses me out though. I, <laughs> first of all, as a black woman, it's so hard to find cream products that work that aren't like five million rand, you know? So this is where it gets interesting high key besides the cream contour. Next, she goes in with a cream blush, which I don't use. And not only does she go in with it, she goes have like for a natural makeup girly this girl uses lots of these products guys don't let the natural makeup fool you products are still going on your face so yeah she goes in with a cream blush so i have never found a cream blush that suits my skin tone well so it's not too pink that it just looks like funny on my skin and it's not too shiny that leaves like a silver cast on my face so i just don't use cream blush but i do have a life hack to make like a cream blush substitute so that you have more control over the color that you're putting on your face. This is a lip balm. And guys, I swear, if this doesn't work for you, sue me. Actually, please don't sue me. Don't sue me. Don't do that. But using a lip balm as a cream blush will change your life. We're just gonna put this on the way that she puts it on and hope that this doesn't ruin my entire face. I feel kind of weird. Also, my concealer is still not set. Let me shut up and get to setting my concealer so she puts the cream blush on her nose and another thing another like fear i have of cream products is when you put them on and then they dry too quickly so especially with the life hack i'm doing where i'm using a lip balm i'm kind of blending as i go in like i put it on the back of my hand and then i blend it as i'm putting it on my face so right now we're looking like woo! oh no oh no sweetie <laughs> we're looking like rudolph the red nose reindeer That looks kind of nice. The nose, the nose part though. Ah, uh, no. I can't get behind this, I'm sorry. Not like that. <laughs> Again, we're lifting here. I was sitting so damn close to the camera. That was unnecessary. Wait, does she blend this with a beauty blender? Nah, that's weird, fam. She does! Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing that. I, I, I refuse, I'm sorry. I look crazy right now. I also put more blush on my nose because I was trying to stay true to the brand. I was trying to give you a full, woo! Did you guys see that? I was trying to give you a full Madison Beer makeup moment. On camera, it looks kind of weird right now, but in the mirror, this actually looks really cute. She said that she puts this much blush on her nose because it makes her feel like a cartoon character. And I see that. So finally, we are going in with powder. She uses a Charlotte Tilsbury pressed powder. I don't even, I don't think it's a translucent powder. I'm gonna be using the Yardley Loose Setting Powder in translucent. Um, and she said that she only powders her T-zone and then under her eyes. 
um girl what about creasing like for example my smile lines crease so i'm like this is going to crease in like half a second also my under eyes have creased so much at this point like but oh well so yeah she's a setting powder in her t-zone and under her eyes it would make so much more sense to set under her eyes with a beauty sponge that she's enjoyed using this girl's enjoyed using her beauty blender this whole video all of a sudden all of a sudden it's time to set she's like no i'm gonna use a brush because a sponge presses the powder into like like inside so it's not moving i feel like using a brush is just it's not gonna have the same effect but anyways i hate that i don't like that okay and then tea zone As you can see, the blush looks a lot less crazy now, which is nice. I feel like, no. I can't, I can't not sit there, guys. It would be doing myself and you a disservice. Do you know what? I actually can't, let me not speak too soon, but I kind of like the way this looks so far. It's fine, you know, my makeup has definitely looked worse, but let me not speak too soon though. <laughs> then she goes in with a powder bronzer just to define the, so again, when you're blending it, you're gonna put it in the cheekbones, kind of in your temples, on your forehead. And later on, she goes and contours her nose, but that's later on. And again, we're going for like a, like an up, an up motion. So you should be blending your bronzer in an up motion, guys. We wanna look like Madison Beer. That is the goal. And then of course, because Madison Beer is like perfect, she doesn't contour her jawline because her jawline is like just how um anyways so yeah she doesn't contour her jawline but she goes in and low-key contours her nose so she says she doesn't know how to contour her nose so she does it really lightly um so she just goes in on the sides um actually i'm not sure if she takes it up to her brow but you should if you're contouring your nose please take it up to your brow don't just put don't just put like road lines on the side of your nose you're gonna look crazy uh, take it up into your like brow slash crease area Ooh. Ooh. And then she contours like under her nose like this right here. She said she saw it from Queen Kim K and honestly anything Kim K does I will I would do it too So if Madison said Kim did it, I'm gonna do it too. I'm like I I I don't really see the point in this, like when I'm contouring my nose normally, I don't really do this step because I don't think it does anything. I really don't think it does anything. So, we're gonna do it because Madison did it. And she doesn't like, okay, so when I'm contouring my nose normally, I'll take powder and like go in and bake on the side so the nose really goes like, you know what I mean? Um, she doesn't do that, so we're just, we're chilling. Okay, guess what's next? No guess, more blush. Oh wow, on camera it looks fine, but I low key look mad. Mm. And more on the nose, of course. I usually don't put too much blush on the front of my cheeks because I already have a, I already have a very round face. So you're supposed to put blush like more just above your contour area. But Madison puts it on, guys, the front of my face is so red. Um, ciao, anyways, so. And next she goes in with eyeshadow and her eyeshadow routine is again very simple so madison's a simple girl we stand a queen honestly so she starts off with what looks like a she just says she goes in with a really light shade and then it looks like she's putting that in like her upper upper crease like a close to skin color which okay we're blending she also doesn't use like any eye primer the girl doesn't even put concealer she doesn't even put concealer on her eyelid literally you could just use your whatever shade or whatever product you use for your bronzer. And then she takes a color that's like a little bit darker and goes deeper into the crease. I'm sorry if it looks like I'm stabbing my eye out. My color looks fine. She says that she keeps going back into, are my eyes even right now? I feel like they're not. Okay, and then she said that she keeps going into a lighter shade to put on her inner, like the inner part of her lid. And she uses the same brush for it, but I'm sorry, that's, that's weird. Just use your finger kind of like you know we're going for that like kim k soft smoky glam vibe you see it just adds a little bit of like depth 
just kind of putting it there and blending it. Yeah. Okay, you see what that did? That just makes your eyes look a little bit more open. I feel a bit more comfortable with this look now that I have like something on my eyes. Shit was weird before. So next she goes into like her infamous inner corner cat eye look and she uses the dark brown from the palette that she's using but I've tried using a brown shadow for the inner corner stuff and that shit just does not work. So I'm going to be using a brown gel liner and that's just gonna, it's gonna be so much better. So she does the like inner eye flick and then she does like a like a skinny teeny weeny cat's eye you can kind of see it. it's just kind of a line from your inner corner down so that's done it was kind of hard they're kind of uneven but it works i will say i feel like that's much easier to do with liquid liner and then she takes the same brown shadow and she creates like a, a little wing. We are imagining an extra really long eyelash. Don't hate it. Again, I feel like it's easier to draw wings with liquid eyeliner, but that's, at this point, that's just because I'm so used to it. Like, this is so unnecessarily difficult. For most people, it is easier to draw a winged line with a brown liner first, because it's kind of it's more forgiving. And this one's cute, this one's a bit of a disaster, but the problem I feel like I'm having with the powdered winged liners is that I can't clean them up. If I could take concealer and just like, then that'd be better, but this is it. They, can't, they don't look too bad. I just realized she doesn't use powder highlight at all. So I'm just gonna use a powder highlight instead. I look crazy. Also, I keep covering the camera. Apologies, I'm new here. And she uses kind of a lot, so... I'm gonna use kind of a lot. Guys, I was about to put highlight on one brow and not the other. Please pray for me. Okay, there we go. I, the highlight actually made me feel kind of pretty. I watched this video, but I didn't watch it and pay really close attention, which maybe I should have. So she does let it go in go in with a powdered highlight but now she's putting in a corner on top of the fox eye like all the hard work that we just did on this fox eye so what i do which makes sense is if you want to put on inner corner highlight put it on before you do the fox eye eyeliner because now we're gonna put on freaking highlight and it's gonna all go away so like now i'm annoyed i feel like she tries to avoid she puts it on kind of under and over Guys, this is ridiculous. Nah, I'm sorry. This step, this step, I, I do not back whatsoever. This is actually, it's actually annoying. It doesn't look that bad, but like you really could have avoided the stress if you just put it on before. And then we have mascara. She doesn't curl her lashes, which sucks because I love me some curled lashes. Okay, so the girl doesn't curl her lashes nor does she wear falsies. I'm a little bit hurt by this, but it's okay. Mascara's on. We move, like it's, I feel like this look is growing on me. So the next thing she does is lip liner. She doesn't use a lipstick or anything, which is the same as me. So she goes in with a lip liner that's close to lip color. So I'm obviously going to be using brown. So we're gonna go in with it. She overlines her lips. Um. I don't need to do all of that. So we're just gonna follow the lines of our lip and then put on some lip gloss. And I think, I think that's the end actually. And then we have lip gloss. She said she makes sure to get the cute Ooh. And then the last thing she does is go in with setting spray. We're just gonna, she says a light spray. I would usually press this in with a beauty blender. It kind of just gets rid of all the powderiness, not that we use that much powder. And just try it. Wow, this is really different, but it's actually so cute. Okay, what do you guys think? I feel like, I, don't, I just like, it just looks really cute. That is it guys, this is how the look came out. I, you know, for a minute there, with the concealer 
Then the blush, the lack of powder, there were so many stages that I was like, this is gonna come out a whole mess. But look at us, we went through this journey together and here we are. I, I low key rate this guys. So if you are wondering if Madison Beer's makeup routine was complete garbage, I can personally say that it is not complete garbage. It's actually like, it's actually really, really cute. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tweet me and follow me on Instagram, both at basically Bimpe. Let me know what you guys think of the routine, what you think about how it came out. Like, I, I wanna hear your thoughts. If you've tried it, let me know. If you think there's anything I could do better, let me know. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment of any other videos you guys want me to do in the future. And I will see you all next week. Bye.